All right, I have the water hooked up to this boat. I uh, will show you what it sounds and looks like while the engine is running. Thanks. All right, this boat's been running here for several minutes, letting the engine temperature warm up for the oil that we're about to change. Uh, as you can see here on the gauge, the oil temperature scale is 163.4. It's about right for this motor. Yeah, I got all my equipment here ready to attempt to change oil. I got my oil filter, my pump, uh, new oil, paper towels, filter engines. I may also do the uh, gear oil, so I have my gear oil pump and some gear oil back here, just in case we do that. But for now, I'm just going to need these main stuff here in the center. And we'll get started. Uh, the engine is already warmed up. Uh, you want to warm your engines up some. You don't necessarily need to bring them to full temperature, but it helps one to make the oil thinner. Two, it suspends any of the particles in there. Uh, this is the first time the oil will be changed on this boat. It just now reached the break-in period at 20 hours. It's just slightly over like 20.6 or 7 hours. I forget now. I'm gonna go ahead and change that oil today. Alright, we're going to attempt to change the oil here on this 5.0 Chaparral 226 SSI Deluxe. Uh, the engine's already ran and has warmed up. So, we're going to get started here. Take the oil fill off to help prevent any vacuum. Set it aside. We'll pull the dipstick out. We're going to clean it off and set it aside as well. I have removed the oil fill cap. I've also pulled the dipstick, wiped it off, set it to the side over there out of our way. The engine's warm. We're going to start by putting the pump tube down the drain tube or the dipstick tube to vacuum out the oil in this boat. It should go all the way to the bottom. A nice fit all the way down. Right there, just hit the bottom, it's in, connected to our pump. So we will vacuum it out. It should be approximately five quarts. We'll be back in a second. All right, we have our drip tube in. Down to the bottom, uh, we're gonna vent the, we're gonna vent the uh, oil filter. Get our pliers here, grab a hold of it, and get it going. They can be a little sticky, a little hard to get loose. We're going to leave it sit on there for now until we get all the oil out. But it is nice and loose as you can tell to drain out. Now we'll begin to pump the oil out. We'll be back shortly. Alright, we got the oil sucked out of our engine here. We got it pumped out. Uh, to get just about five quarts. There's always going to be a little bit of residual oil in there more than likely. Um, so we're ready to put the new filter on. Uh, we finished unscrewing the old filter there. We've wiped it all up and got it nice and clean. Uh, gonna get our new filter out. We're here. Out of the box. Should be the fit. I'm gonna set it there. We're gonna get some clean oil from over here. Some new, this is a synthetic blend 25W40. Brand new jug. It opened up a little oil on our finger here. Rub on the new seal. Get it nice and lubricated here. Wipe our hand off. Get in here, put that on, screw it down, let it get good and hand tight. Then we grab our funnel, put our funnel down there, and we're going to pour that whole jug of oil that we just opened up in, plus a little bit more. We took out about five quarts. Uh, this jug here is about four quarts, one gallon. Dump it all in, and then we'll add, check our levels, and add more as needed. 
nice good clean oil be careful not to make a mess and there's that one gallon in we'll let that sit uh, we'll probably take and start this motor let it run for a minute and then check our oil levels before we finish adding any more uh, basically top it off according to your manufacturer's recommendation and you should be good to go after that all right we got our new filter on the dipstick back in place the oil cap on one gallon of oil in should need a little bit more i'm going to start the motor let it run uh, the water's flowing now since i'm out on land to keep the engine cool as we do this so here we go we're going to fire it up let it run a little bit and then we'll test it let our gauges run through their self test and come back to zero got our motor running now We'll also be checking for any leaks around the new oil filter periodically especially now that it's getting ran and then as I take it out in the water I will continue to check the first few outings just to make sure it stays good and tight uh, we don't have any leaks I'm gonna carry extra oil with me in my boat it's always good to do no matter what all times of all kinds of boats you never know where you're gonna need extra oil uh, so we'll let this run for a little while come back and check on it and go from there pull our dipstick now uh, the thing's kind of set for about five maybe ten minutes pull our dipstick out check the volume of oil in the motor add if needed I always like to pull a dipstick out wipe it off clean you know from any oil that's inside the dipstick too wipe it off clean reinsert it and pull it out before I even consider that a reading so we'll go ahead and pull it out take our paper towel here Wipe it nice and clean, nothing on it. And then we'll take it, reinsert it back in all the way down as normal. Then we will take this out again, keep it pointing down uh, so the oil doesn't try to run up. And we will check the volume of it here so we can get this on here. Looks like we need to add some oil there. A little fuzzy. So we can set that down. Focus in on it. The walls are towards the bottom. So we need to add a little bit. So we'll add some and then we'll recheck. Alright, we just added some more oil to this. Right, we're going to pull our dipstick again and check now and see where our levels are. Uh, we may check it a time or two. Check it now and let it sit for a while again and then recheck and then check after running out in the water to see what our accurate readings are. Getting that pointed down. Uh, it's hard to see but where oil is about right up in here towards that upper range. This boat's sitting slightly back so I'm going to leave it there for now and check it again once I get in the water, run it around and pull it back on some level ground and go from there. <laughs> 